Welcome to our grower workshop. Today I'll show you how easy it is to install a Grower Blue Pure Tap with a pull-out spout and a reverse osmosis filter in four steps. In principle, there are many ways to combine different taps and filters individually. We decided to go for this combination and will now show you how to install it step by step. Here are all the tools you will need. By the way, having a look at the instructions, which are also included, certainly doesn't hurt. First, prepare the fastening nut. To do this, insert these two screws into the nut and screw in a few revolutions. Now pass all the tap connections through the O-ring and insert the tap. Make sure that the O-ring fits correctly. Then assemble the fastening set as shown. Pass it over the hoses of the tap from below and then tighten it by hand. Check to make sure the tap is positioned correctly and then tighten the screws to the mounting kit. Now screw the snap-on coupling onto the distributor and then screw it tightly by hand onto the tap hose. Connect the other end to the tap's inlet pipe. Then screw the blue hose onto the distributor and tighten it. To attach the hose weight, loosen the screws on the weight using the Phillips screwdriver. Then place the weight in the desired position and screw it on again. Next, fit the T-piece with the seal and screw it onto the cold water corner valve. Then connect the hot and cold water. Now it's time to install the filter system. First, check the dimensions and conditions in the bottom table. First, screw in and tighten the attached hose on the reverse side of the filter holder. Next, screw the other end onto the T-piece on the cold water connection. The grey adapter is then fixed onto the inlet hose for the filtered water. Then press this white hose into the adapter, remove the plug on the filter and insert it into the filter system. Now the concentrate hose is installed. To do this, drill a 7 to 10 mm hole above the ceiling water level.
Attach the rubber ceiling washer. Pass the hose through for approximately 15 millimeters and screw the clamp tight. Insert the other side of the hose into the filter and connect the power cable. Now the filter cartridges can be installed. The reverse osmosis filter first, then the mineralization filter. Pull off the cartridge lid and screw it into the filter head tightly. Make sure it fits correctly. Once both filters are installed, the magnetic retaining plate is positioned until it clicks into place. Then unscrew the angle valves and switch on the filter system. Now rinse for 10 minutes and check everything again for tightness and leaks. After that, the mixed water can be tested. Done. Now it's time for the handover. Before the job is done, there are still a few things left to check. If the filter needs changing, this is announced visibly and audibly. In this case, unscrew the old filter, insert a new one and hold down the reset button for three seconds. Job done.